It's a new month. It's a new day. It is Wednesday, June 1st. It is the start of the meteorological summer but it's still spring on the calendar, and it is 52 degrees. Nice start to the day. Um, things are going to be changing. Take a look at the four things you need to know as we get fired up here. Beautiful day today. An afternoon chance of a shower really going to be north of Spokane, it looks like. Uh, highs into the mid-70s all over the region. Storming uh, starting tomorrow all the way through Friday, and then a cool showery weekend with more sustained rain on Sunday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, we're going to see, again, uh, increasing clouds later on today. Temperatures are going to be uh, jumping into the 70s in the afternoon, and it's going to look pretty good. But we should be, uh, again, about 70 by noon. So, yeah, not bad at all. 24-hour forecast, yeah, we have the cloud cover. Computer model saying, yeah, there's enough energy to trigger a shower or two coming into the afternoon. That's going to be uh, north of I-90. Uh, we're going to see that continue into the Cascades. If you're going to be traveling, you'll see some wet weather there, and more so in the northern mountains and northeastern Washington. Um, Mid-70s today, 74, 74 Deer Park, Coeur 73. Pullman, you'll be right there. Low 80s from Moses Lake down to the Tri-Cities and over to the LC Valley. Looking pretty nice. In fact, that climbs all the way up to OMAC. So really, can't complain. Take a look at the planning forecast. And um, in our four-day forecast, we're going to see that chance of shower and thunder shower potential really Thursday, Friday. We've got some heat. We've got some energy there. Um, we will also expect to see the potential over the weekend. Uh, Mid-70s day tomorrow, 71 on Friday. And then Saturday, 64 degrees, and, and we'll see a continuation of mid-60s into Sunday as well. So be prepared for that. Uh, you know, you'll be able to be outdoors at times. You'll have to go indoors at times. When thunder roars, go indoors. Uh, have a great day. First alert weather, that app is available in the App Store. It's been uh, updated and upgraded. If you need it, you need to bring it back into your phone, and you'll have the latest version. All right, we'll continue to keep this updated just for you.